Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Summer and I have a quick, fun, little DIY video to share with you guys today. Or actually I should say tonight, hence like the cozy attire. Um, but I am working on a new design project for a really awesome young family in Hermosa Beach for Rachel and Eric and their two kiddos. We are making over their dining room, their living room, and their kitchen. And this is probably the biggest project to date. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also really excited. And in the dining room, we wanted to put a buffet in there because Rachel needs more storage for glassware, for um, dishes and serving items. And when we were looking online and at furniture stores for buffets, they came with a super pricey, expensive price tag. And because we do like to do things here on a budget, I'm gonna show you how we found one on OfferUp and we distressed it. So check out what we did. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please help me out by subscribing to my channel to see more awesome DIY and interior decor videos just like this one, thanks. So I'm out here at Rachel and Eric's place and we are sprucing up their dining room their living room and their kitchen and as I was putting together some a mood board for their space I found this amazing buffet that we just loved however that buffet came at a price tag of over $900 which we did not want to do so I went to my best friend offer up and I found this amazing sick beautiful traditional buffet for I think she paid $2.50 for which it is so beautiful and I am going to refinish this bad boy and I'm going to show you how I've distressed and refinished a lot of furniture and I have a lot of people asking me how to do it and it's actually really easy and I'm going to show you how. How amazing is this beautiful buffet? I cannot believe we only paid $250 for this. I'm going to distress it and it's gonna look awesome. I'm gonna start this project by removing all of the hardware by just using a standard screwdriver. So I'm using an electric sander is how I'm gonna start this and we want to always go with the grain of the wood. So I'm gonna continuously be going this way to start, I'm using this really coarse uh, sandpaper because I want to completely get rid of this finish and also strip it of this stain. I am kind of going for this like distressed beachy kind of a look and I do want to keep some of this um, wood tone in it. So I'm not going to take it, strip it completely of that. Um, this is going to take some time and uh, I'm just gonna put my headphones on and get going. So as I'm sanding, I'm literally going with the grain of the wood like so. Um, you can see here where it's starting. I am gonna keep um, some of this darker brown original color kind of showing through because I want that to kind of come through even though I paint it um, but you can see here it's still looking really splotchy and probably more than I would like so I am going to continue to sand this had a lot of um, finishing coat on it so that's kind of what I've been sanding off at the moment but so far so good I've just gotten done sanding and this is kind of where I'm at with things. I do want this beachy distressed look so I am actually going to leave this darker brown because I do want some of that to show through. Um, so yeah, now it's time to painting time but I think I might come back for day two to do the paint. I am on day two of finishing up our buffet for our beautiful new dining space. And I wasn't a little, I wasn't too certain of the color that I wanted. So I actually got two, um, by, they're both by Sherwin-Williams. 
I'll link these below. One is called Tranquil Vibe and the other one is called Racing the Rain. So they're like this really pretty wash beachy blue and I'm going to use a dry paintbrush and the technique that I want I am giving it that distressed look I want to try and keep this as dry as I can um, and brushing strokes with the grain of the wood and since I wasn't sure I'm gonna kind of blend together these two paint colors so check out what I do <clears throat> so I'm just kind of like dipping the edges of the brush in ever so slightly I'm keeping it somewhat dry but you can see how I'm going like with the strokes of the wood and I'm gonna keep how it is I don't want it I don't want it to be so solid everywhere because I want that beachy distress look so I'm gonna keep some of those marks in there and I'm just gonna keep going Um, another thing that I should mention about the paint is this is just a standard house paint. I got a satin finish. They do make chalk paint that you can buy. Um, <clears throat> however, and chalk paint is really good for like refinishing furniture. It sticks to it really well. Um, it's kind of easier to give this distressed look. However, it's also, they don't come in very many colors and it's really expensive. So if you know how to do this the right way, then you really don't need chalk paint. You can just use any standard paint. Again, this is by Sherwin-Williams. They got two different colors to mix it. I'm just rubbing it in the grain of the wood. And then to protect it all, I'm gonna put a polyurethane clear coat on at the very end and I'll show you how. So the last step to refinishing our buffet is we want to protect it so it doesn't chip or any of the paint doesn't chip off. So I'm using a one coat polyurethane clear coat. This one is in a satin finish because I don't want it to be too shiny. But again, I'm just gonna paint with the direction of the wood grain and it's just gonna keep this nice and protected.